Thank you. Worlds literally collide when a gateway between different realms open up and allow different characters from different worlds to join forces. The villain wants to keep the gate open, but if that happens, he'll be able to terrorize more universes besides his own. To stop him, a movie star, the blonde who's arguably the most fearless out of the group, the old mentor, the Asian hero, and the kid who wants revenge against the bad guy for killing his relative, assemble in the same realm to form a super team that can take down the bad guy. It's tough to keep a low profile because some of the heroes have big egos that attract paparazzi everywhere they go. The team tries to ignore the distractions and manage to figure out what the bad guy's hiding. They eavesdrop on his conversation and listen to about 40% of his plan. The villain realizes their strength in numbers, so he copies off of the hero's ideas and does some of his own recruiting. He creates a team of villains to even the playing field. We get a sneak peek at some of the henchmen's powers in a showdown in the forest. The aim is horrible, but the destruction caused by the henchman's weapon is enough to piss off Smokey the Bear. Each of the characters on both sides have a unique ability. When they get together for a showdown, all of their powers are on full display. A black assassin is sent to kill the youngest hero. The black assassin fails miserably, and as his punishment, instead of getting fired, he gets killed when he doesn't kill the boy. The team goes to the cave decorated in webbing. It's there they realize how much chemistry they don't have. The only chemistry between all of them is the romantic chemistry between the youngest hero and the girl he has a crush on. They start falling for one another and get whooped from being distracted. The top two bad guys on the villain's team are the scorpion and the henchman with all those arms. The good guys are getting whooped and as much as they want to fight fair, they realize when they fight dirty, the odds are back in their favor. The bad guy is winning and opens up the portal. The young hero has to say goodbye to all of his friends and loved ones. Each goodbye is like a senzu bean and gives him more strength. The day is saved and in the end, it's not the end because there's a sequel hook for the next movie. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so. If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Elevator music I've ever heard.